Welcome to the Kennedy Active Learning Classroom Touch Panel Tutorial. Click Press to begin to start the class. During the system startup, you will see the following screen. As the system starts up, all of the TVs and projectors will power on and display the Podium PC. Once the class has finished its startup process, you will see the following screen. You will see the top six buttons on every page you open. Podium, Tables, Displays, Room Audio, Shutdown, and System Help. Every other part of the screen will change based on the user selections. On startup, the NinerNet PC, indicated in green, is the Podium startup source and is what will be shown on every TV and projector by default. The top left three buttons, Podium, Tables, and Displays, are used to change what the user is currently controlling. Podium is used to change sources in the Podium, control room audio, and the wireless mic. Tables allows the instructor to route audio and video from a table or podium to any TV and or projector in the room. They may also lock the touch panels at the tables or allow for individual TV volume control. Displays is used to power on and off displays, raise and lower projector screens, or mute projectors. To change the podium source, select any of the buttons on the left. Ninernet PC, Laptop HDMI, Laptop VGA, Blu-ray, and DockCam. If there are any additional controls available for the current source, such as the Blu-ray player, they will be available at the center of the screen. From the podium page, you may also choose to mute the TVs or projectors as a group. The buttons are located in the bottom right corner. If you need to mute a TV or projector individually from the rest, you can do this from the displays page, which will be shown later. To route audio and video from one location to another in the room, select tables at the top. This page will show you what each table has routed to it and what the table is currently viewing on their TV. The source is what is being sent to the table from somewhere else in the room. In this example, the podium. Viewing is what they are currently seeing on their TV. In this case, what's going to the entire room. In our example, the podium is currently green, which indicates it is the current source. This means that anytime you click a gray icon for a table or projector, it is going to route the podium source to that destination. To change the current source, click on the Change Source button on the left side. This opens the Select a Source screen, which allows you to choose any table or the podium. In our example, Table 1 is the current source. When you select a source, this page closes and you will be back at the previous page to select a destination. If you would like to have all tables switch back to viewing their local laptops and not what is being sent to them from the room, click Send Tables to Local Inputs. This will select the last laptop used at each table and display its content locally. You can also select Clear Routes to Tables, which will not only send the tables to their local inputs, but also clear whatever has been routed to their table so they can no longer select to view it. You can also lock the touch panels or hide show TV volume controls using the bottom left buttons. By default on startup, the touch panels are unlocked but do not have any volume controls. The displays button allows you to control either the projectors or the TVs in the room. In this example, locate the projectors button on the left of your screen. When you have selected this button and it is highlighted green, you can control projectors one and two individually. You can turn them on or off, raise or lower the screen, and mute or unmute the video. When the video is muted, the image is no longer projected to the screen. Now locate the TVs button on the left of your screen. When you select this button, you can control the TVs individually. When you are ready to shut the system down, Click the shutdown button at the top of the page. This will bring you to the confirmation screen. Click yes to continue to shut down the system. This concludes the Kennedy Active Learning Classroom touch panel tutorial. 
For more information, please contact the Office of Classroom Support.